see that at the last time there was a vote on these issues in Parliament, I was the only Member of Parliament to vote against the recent amendments to the COVID laws. The Government's COVID laws are a huge overreach into your personal life, a huge overreach into your personal freedom, and they've got to keep doing it. The only strategy they have is continued rolling lockdown. If they get rid of the virus very soon in the next few weeks, if it pops up again, the only strategy they have, the only strategy they have is to force you back into your home. It's wrong, it's undemocratic, and it's against free liberty. So many in the government and in the media don't want to film this type of protest because they don't want to see New Zealanders standing up for their rights. But more and more New Zealanders are asking the hard questions, are getting answers where they can online, getting answers where they can in international research. And I have to say as well, congratulations to those freedom fighters from COVID Plan B. They're the only ones in New Zealand in the science community asking those hard questions. Let's give them a round of applause. like Claire, fathers like those in the community that I've seen, grandparents who don't normally protest, I have to say, are fundamental to our way of life and the future of this country. The future of this country is at stake in the next couple of months. The future of your children's country is at stake in the next couple of months. And if we don't stand up and do something, if we just blindly go along with whatever we're told, we're going to continue to see laws implemented that take away our freedoms and liberties. Yep. We are in a situation where the government is locking down the country of a virus that now we know is not too dissimilar to the flu. Would we ever lock down the country for the flu? No. Absolutely not. But that is what's happening here. They don't want you to listen to anyone else talking about this issue. They expect you just to listen to whatever's said to you at the one o'clock press conferences. But in a democracy, you ask the hard questions because it's your country, it's your future, and it's our children's future. And that's why we're here. So I want to say to each and every one of you, we're going to stand up to the government on this. We're going to stand up to the complicit media on this. We're going to stand up to the other politicians because National Greens, New Zealand First, they're just as bad as the Labour Party. Just as bad as the Labour Party. This is our country, this is our democracy, this is our future. Thank you for what you're doing, thank you for being here. Let's keep doing this. Next week, next week I don't want to see 500 people, I want to see 5,000 people. And at the election, I don't want to see 5,000 people, I want to see 500 and two and a half million people standing up for their freedom. So start here, start now. Thank you very much.